and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some rotation proof Boros Feather. So this is a deck that's not losing a ton at rotation, but it is losing one really key part, the removal with Reckless Rage. <laughs> Reckless Airstrike, that's a funny funny art there. So no more Reckless Rage for the Feather decks. That's just the repeatable removal spell with Feather. So instead, we're, we're playing a little bit more removal in the main with the Lava Coils here to kind of go with our shocks. So like that's what we're going to be trying uh, to have work um, and see, you know, seeing how that goes. Also adding a couple of Samit Sprints into our deck uh, to, you know, give our cre make our creatures bigger, give them haste. I think that could work really well with Swift Blade Vindicator um, and Krenko Ten Street Kingpin. I almost said Ten Street Hooligan. That's a different card, Ten Street Hooligan. Uh, that's a, a good cube card. But anyway, uh, these two... Um, these two are two threats that you don't see all the time in feather decks. You see them sometimes, not all the time. But I'm going to be trying them out here and trying them with uh, Gird for Battle and Salmon Sprint to try to make these things bigger. Um, you know, Define Strike can do that as well. We'll see how they, they work out. Um, our mana is worse without having, you know, like our mana is always worse with these rotation proof decks, of course. I got one Windscarred Crag in here um and then a few more basics than what we would have otherwise uh since we don't get the clifftop retreats um sideboard wise we got disenchant which is worse which is a downgrade over uh the one mana destroy target enchantment card that i can't remember the name of because that one mana card you get to cast easily with arcanist this one's not going to be as easy to cast um but got a bunch of devout decrees for vampires since we're we're lower on removal spells, so we got a whole bunch of those in here. Um, and then also, like, since, like, without Reckless Rage, you know, like, I think it, other decks could go wide on us. So we're going to try a couple Clarions and a Solar Blaze for the green decks, like, with a whole bunch of mana creatures and everything, since we won't have just a ton of removal. Um, you know, if we if we use, like, one Gird for Battle on an Arcanist, it will survive Deafening Clarion. Or we can also use God's Willing on our own creature to have them survive Clarion if need be. And Solar Blaze only kills Vindicator and 10th District Legionnaire. But again, we could use God's Willing to also help protect those if need be, uh, where Solar Blaze doesn't kill these other things. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try those out in the sideboard. And I got Chandra in the sideboard for, like, for the control matchups, for like Esper and things like that where it can pressure the planeswalkers or uh recast uh Samet sprint or anything like that chandra can kind of be like dreadhorde arcanist like where if we play feather and then we chandra minus target something then we go put it back into our hand instead of exile it you know so it can kind of be like dreadhorde arcanist for us also um so that that could be kind of cool so that's what I got. So let's try our rotation proof Boros Feather list here. So we're going through our traditional constructed league, seeing if we can get up to five wins. So far, Demir Control is our first rotation proof deck to do that. We played four rotation proof decks last Monday. That was our first rotation proof Monday. Um, all right, have a good night, Storm. All right, and Lord Draxus. Have a good night, y'all. Um, so let's see how Boros Feather does. Rotation is in about six weeks. I guess I need to re-say that with every every one of these new videos. Because maybe not everybody's watching the previous videos as well. How does Searing Blaze work with Lifelink? You you would gain the life because the the creature is the thing that's dealing the damage. So yeah, you you do gain the life with it. So I think I think Legionnaire is probably more valuable. Let's start off with the Vindicator. I mean, plus if we play Legionnaire with the haste, it doesn't even get to attack through a Wild Growth Walker anyway. But nice to be able to protect Legionnaire with the God's Willing. Hmm. 
So the real question is if I get Cranko in play. Or swing out with the Legionnaire. Let me get Cranko in play. Worst case scenario is Vraska Golgari Queen, kill my Cranko. Worst case scenario. Hopefully that doesn't happen. So yeah, there is, yep, in a weird, yeah, in a, a weird situation, you could cast Deafening Clarion, give your creatures lifelink, and then cast Solar Blaze, and gain a lot of life. You should fear those That's something that could happen in life. <laughs> Time for a drink. So this can be a 3-3. Three, three. Attacking here and making three tokens. Life's a lot better when we actually have Feather. Like, I don't know if I want to, like, make that attack and then use my God's Willing just to kill, you know, like, use a God's Willing just to kill a Branch Walker when they have, like, Soren. Just doesn't seem like something that's very beneficial. But it's like, that's what my deck is. It's an attacking deck. I guess I could just attack out at Soren. Where are you at, Feather? <laughs> <I've nothing anymore. laughs> You're working up my appetite. Solar Blaze is not so good against Wild Growth Walker either. Wild Growth Walker is going to be tough. Vampirism you know, is useful. I haven't seen, you know, I haven't played against a Wild Growth Walker in forever. Ooh. Okay, okay. Do 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 do. There's feather. Darn it. Now I don't have the defiant strike anymore to put back in my hand. Yeah, I'm just I'm just dead to like removal and stuff. I'm not not even bluffing any protection or anything. Yeah, why didn't I save that defiant strike? 
I mean, maybe we'll draw another one. Like the phases of the moon. Like Let me aid your research. Nickel Bolas. That's a card I'm not beating. Embrace. They ditched Nicol Bolas. Yeah, they probably just have command, right? I know I noted this somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't really see us winning this game, but you never, I guess it could happen. It's like we'll have Arcanist, Sprint it. I mean, we need Feather to survive. But yeah, we'll sp Sprint the Arcanist, uh, have Arcanist get back God's Willing, and then kind of go from there, I suppose. Kind of assuming they have Masker Girl in their deck. That seems like a safe assumption. Conclave Tribunal rotates out. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That was Guilds of Ravnica. Sorry, it doesn't. I was thinking that was Ixalan, it's not. That's Ixalan's binding, is the Ixalan one. Oh, darn it, play stuff second main. Ugh, I was gonna put it on one of these to get a counter. All right, well, I, I missed a counter. Forgot to play it second main. I couldn't do it end step, of course, because we gotta play this thing first. My research has been compromised. All right, well. Yeah, 48 health's a lot. That's a lot of health.
Looks like here's Command the Dread Horde. So we have to kill Teferi so we can play Instance again. But giving Feather Pro Blue means that Nicol Bolas and Teferi can't kill Feather. It's a little bit of a surprise here. Chandra? Oh, come on. You have Chandra in here? Yeah, I thought I thought they were going to minus Tamio to grab the Dread Horde back. I'll protect you. <laughs> what a mess I've made. So I can kill two Planeswalkers. Which two do I want to kill? And I definitely want to kill the Time Raveler. And then Tamio. Yeah, I've got to kill Tamio. Can maybe kill them next turn. Our time together is finished. Come dang close to it. Okay, not really that close. No, you, no, green, green creatures cannot block a protection from green creature. So protection can't be blocked by creatures of that color. I could have, like, I guess, yeah, I could have second willinged this Vindicator to kill the Nicol Bolas. Maybe that was worth it. I definitely want to keep, definitely need to keep up at least one willing here. At least one. I kind of want to keep up both. But maybe it was worth it just to Vindicator kill the, that Nicol Bolas. Oh, 
I definitely want Sam at sprint on, on this turn for like blocking purposes. Yeah, protection is like everything. You can't, you can't target it. You can't be, yeah, can't be blocked or can't be dealt damage. Yep, it's like everything. They probably don't have instant speed removal, right? I don't know if they're sitting with those four cards over there, though. Like, if I Defiant Strike and tap out here, are they going to, like, kill my Feather? Be weird. We are, like, so close to not winning this anyway. Or I can't just sit here with a mana open every turn and win this. Let's be real. So one, two, one. Leaving up one, God's willing. Sure. I suppose. Maybe I should be putting the other counter on the Vindicator. I don't know, this is a hard game, man. They've only used one Dread Horde.
All right, bad sign, bad sign. Uh, very bad sign. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll take all that. I uh, need to keep both mana up. Darn it. Get rid of Feather. I guess I have to give Feather Pro Black. They can bounce Feather. I guess bouncing Feather is really not that big a deal. I can gain I can gain a lot of life back with Gideon giving Legionnaire life link. They could kill Legionnaires. Uh, all right, well, pro black. Looks like the Arcanist play was too greedy by me last turn. That that cost me three mana playing Arcanist and giving it haste. Looks like that was too greedy. Spending that three mana there. <clears throat> I'm not going to block the two ones with goblins and just let them gain a whole bunch of life back. Putting them back into play. I'll just take the four damage. on what's about to happen. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kratash. It's not an easy game to win here. That's for sure. I've played easier games in my life. Yes, please kill Arganist. Don't kill Legionnaire. Thank you. Your existence is pointless. It really was. I have Feather in play. That card didn't do anything. I think you will find my notes helpful. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> That's more like it. Darn it. Don't. I don't have the mana to recast all this stuff. Ugh. Because I got to play Gideon. Ugh. I was hoping they weren't going to do that. It's looking good for me for a little bit. Bleh. They have 13, and they're still looking for Chandra, I guess. Yes, I'll play I'll play Mono Black Aggro again at some point. Hmm. Gosh, I need a feather in play right now. Because I only have one... I play Gideon here, I only have one mana. It's just like a not enough. Pro green you. Um, 
just let me know if you're up for round two. I have less than 15 minutes on my timer. I'm supposed to win two games. This is game one. I'm trying over here. Give me a break, timer. My opponent has not made this easy on me whatsoever. Seek and find. They have 17:30, so I'm they're ahead of me on for like by like three minutes. <clears throat> yeah, that's the plan to gain a lot of life with Gideon next turn if we survive. Time for a drink. That's definitely the plan. Oh, the cosmos, a mind to control. Oh, that was Teferi. Sorry, I was late. I was figuring out what happened with Nicol Bolas. I was like, wait, I was like, I was like gonna, I was gonna exile my thing. Oh, dang it! Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I didn't. God's willing. I was just thinking about the Nicol Bolas thing and just didn't even realize that was Teferi until I clicked the resolve all thing. Yeah, good chance they have Jace. This this game's just over though. Let's slow this down. Doesn't really matter, this game's over. I might as well not pack it in. I don't know, maybe make my opponent use more time, I guess, if like this game took this long. I don't know. We'll just kind of see. Like, I want to see if they do have a Jace. Just to know. Like, maybe they have a Jace. I am Death's master. Let's try they're, this. they're just going to be... Alright, we're just dead. I don't think... Even if I play the two God's Willings, though... Like, let's say I have two extra creatures out here. I'm still, I'm still taking lethal. So it, it really didn't matter. We have graveyard hate. No graveyard hate. Hey, onion bro. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube channel and everything. Yeah, we fought hard. We fought hard. Um, how are we winning here? Un unclear. Definitely need all these lava coils. I think shock is the card I don't really want. If we can lava coil Wild Growth Walkers, our life will be good. These don't kill Wild Growth Walkers, though. So, like, Chandra Gideon? Do I kind of want those cards? This obviously gets rid of Nicol Bolas and Vraska. Gets rid of Vraska, too. What if they play that Chandra? I kind of want this thing. No. Maybe we don't need that thing. Do I want this instead of the third Devout Decree? Yeah, probably not. Do I want this? This could be good. I want I want that. I want Gideon. I want Gideon to give my creatures vigilance. Give my creatures lifelink. 
Also that minus six exile stuff. Alright, better looking hand than we had last time. We have a coil for a walker. We have feather in our opening hands. We don't have to like waste all of our spells to look for feather and then not have spells left. Could go greedy there and defiant strike and you know look for a land but then if we don't hit a land then we could kind of die to the wild growth walker Yeah, this would be a great Immortal Sun matchup. But no, yeah, that, that's rotating. Ooh, two Wild Growth Walkers out of here. Can't you be an instant? Well, that's a big game. Two Wild Growth Walkers out of here. Gideon Jura, at your service. I believe in you. Let me out. They buying back trophy. Yeah, we do need a god God's willing still. Okay, we really want to draw. Hey, Kurt Hash getting that gifted sub from Samantha. Thanks, Samantha. Our 11th sub of the day. Give ourselves one more chance. So they, they said Jade Light and they grabbed one. That's lucky. I want to kill Tamiyo. All stories must Another end. day, villain. So it does mean we're getting rid of our sprint and we're not playing Feather. So that was the only way to kill Tamiyo. Why do they always just have every single Wild Growth Walker in their deck? Why is that always a thing? Under pressure. There we go. Darkness we'll see because. how much how good that play turns out to be. 
But I just want to exile these wild growth walkers. They don't let them get them back with Command the Dread Horde at all. This Arcanist isn't really doing very much for me. Let's see if we find a better threat. Yeah, I like this card more. All these wild growth walkers over there. This thing's gonna hit really hard with you know all these defiant strikes. Hey Gatsby. That is true. I guess Vindicator does turn on this Masker Girl. That was a good call there. No blocks, you say. All right, game three. So yeah, should I be boarding out Vindicator? I wish I had more than four Lava Coils as ways to exile. I guess I can't really play Baffling End. That's what rotates out. That'd be a nice one to have right now though. <laughs> no blocks against Vindicator is spicy. Um. Get the other Devout Decree in here over a Vindicator. Exile Masker Girl also. Hey, what's up, Adriel? Cranko's not so great against Masker Girl either. These cards aren't great against Masker Girl at all. Unless we have Gird for battle for the Vindicator. Yeah, I like the Chandras. Let's take out Cranko. That card is awful against Masker Girl. Chandras can be more Lava Coils. I like it. Play that instead of Krenko. Aggro, aggro, go win aggro. Fry doesn't kill very much. It's little to fairy and. Nicol Bolas. It doesn't even kill Tamio. Tamio takes up to six. Chandra can also like kill their, you know, kill like little Teferi and stuff if they don't have creatures, if they just have like the planeswalkers. Chandra also does a good job of killing the planeswalkers as well.
No. Worst case scenario, them having Wild Growth Walker. Ooh, nothing to pump it, though. More mana. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. Hmm. I don't want you to I test no I hypothesis. This was an instant I'd play it before we draw. Ooh. That's lucky. Alright, well let's Yeah, let's play this. I guess I could Gideon Blackblade. No. Um, do I want another red land? Not really. Okay, maybe a Sacred Foundry. That'll let me, like, Gideon plus God's Willing next turn. Hmm. That's fine. <laughs> gird, gird, gird. Gird, gird's the word. Tamio is dead. Get out of here, Tamio. I'm tired of your plusin' and your minusin'. Just get out of here. This study is over. Yeah, I got 842. Can't play for too long of a game, I suppose. I know my responsibility. You know your responsibilities, don't you? Don't worry, I got this. Looks like they got trophy. Defend the weak at every opportunity. Share in my light. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, they have Command the Dread Horde. They're looking at here. Well, you're not bad, Arcanist. You just don't have haste. Kind of need you to have haste. Now you're not bad. My revenge will be painful. So I can get all these things back.
We'll see how much they get back, how much life they lose. I don't know, why do I keep this other planes? I don't need this planes. Yeah, they don't have any life gain, which is good. They could have like 2, 4, 7, 11, 16. So it's 16 to get everything back, so probably not getting everything back. That's a little unlikely. Oh, right. Gideon also. I am here to aid in the assault. Watch. Gideon can be lifelink. I've got time. I shouldn't have kept his planes. Alright, so what would kill my opponent? Oh, I can't even upkeep cast. Stupid Teferi. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't scry during upkeep with God's willing because of that Teferi. I mean more damage base spells, please. That is a great card. Do I get to draw a card? Why can't I draw that? I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. They kind of have this turn to to find Ugh, that card right there. Wow, what a beating. It's going to be so much life gain. Hmm. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. To the library. Not over yet. They only have one other card in hand. I'm hoping, hope they whiff here. We can kill Tamio and Gideon next turn. I'm at 520. They're at 720. I gotta play a little faster. God, killing them in five minutes. Believe in you, friend. I guess I can't kill both of them, can I? Um, gosh, I'm at 14. Jeez. Guess I have to let him have Tamio. Yeah, give me that. Oh, 
Crush the darkness. I think you will find Whiff. my notes helpful. Whiff. Yay. Please no command the Red Horde. God, they definitely just have command the Red Horde, don't they? They don't have command the Red Horde. Oh, darn it. I didn't get the, the stop. Are they dead? I don't know. I don't know if they're dead or not. Three, six, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I'm counting nineteen. Looking for another God's Willing here. I got two minutes. I will not stand for such violence. So if I would have God's Willing to last turn, it would have been 20. Better not have another Jade Light over there too. You just you didn't play anything last turn. There's no way they just have a Jade Light in hand, right? They just have nothing. So they're just dead, right? Yeah, they're just dead. Yeah, uh, I'm not even going to cast this God's Willing. I got a minute and a half. Oh, we got another one. Cool. I've never come this close to timing out before. Hooray! We were victorious. That was a really hard fought game right there. Fought so hard for that one. Oh man. GG's. All right, we have the whole rest of the league. All right, so playing playing Feather without Reckless Rage makes your life harder. That's for sure. <laughs> um... Arcanist or Krenko? Which one are we putting back? I know Arcanist doesn't do a whole lot when you have Feather. Alright, we'll get we'll get rid of Arcanist. I believe the unhinged lands will go on sale in the store at a future unsaid date. That was very intense.
that last game. We have the whole rest of the league to play here, and then also the Sultai lands deck as well. Whew. That's tough. We may have a longer stream tonight. We'll see. Uh oh. All right. Well, they're they're playing Reckless Rage. We're probably dead. Well, they didn't Reckless Rage last turn while I was tapped out, so that's a good sign. No mono black control tonight. I mean, today is rotation proof Monday. And you have the schedule up here. Loving our chances here. Well, may not be so bad. Cranko can make a whole lot of jump blockers for us. Get a feather. Bunch of chump blockers. <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing this rotation proof thing every Monday. Yep. No, not feather. Not. Okay. I say, like, feather with God's willing. It's not so good. path your light will cleave the darkness all right we're gonna make this cranko indestructible sure tokens you can just suicide in there that's fine. They won't block two tokens, they take five. I don't believe the other five Skylands will be in Eldraine. We're going to have five dual lands that are going to be the colors of the other dual lands that are not the scry lands. But I don't believe it, that they will be the scry lands. I think it's close. You know, like there's there's a better chance that they're scry lands than any other type of land, but I'm taking the field of other lands over scry lands. This is what I was scared of my opponent doing. All right, well, we're, we're certainly going to have to lifelink Cranko here. Oh, okay. That's 
It's not as bad. I tried my best. Oh, no. I guess I gotta get stops up in here. Oh well. We'll throw you instead. A plane defined strike. Um So I did the feather with the Defiant Strike this time, not the Cranko. Because you know, I do the Cranko, they block the Cranko. You know, it's easy block. Making them both four power. So, like, if they just have block one, you know, we have four plus the six. Like, that's ten right there. All right, we'll get some decrees. I do decree. Fries. Do we even want all these removal spells? Honestly? Yeah, we probably do. Yeah, we do. All right, so maybe we cut shock, cut, I don't know, Vindicator. Play a whole bunch of removal. <laughs> See, rotation proof feather is superior than mythic championship qualifier feather. Well, our, our opponent didn't draw reckless rage. Either. So neither of us had Reckless Rage. So we were on an even playing field. That helped. Yes, I do want land. Thank you. Not really a card I expected. I guess that does things, I suppose. So of course I want feather, I want protection for feather before playing it. I'm just gonna do this thing and just like hit him for a bunch of damage. Sure. We'll still have these two spells be able to get back all the time with Feather.
So I like, like, I don't think I was supposed to devout decree that, right? Whenever we had. Like, we want to play the feather and have the gods willing. Right? They get to refill their hand, though, here. Could have got blown up by Reckless Rage there. But there's also, I don't know, there's a Cinder Vines over there. Oh, right. There, there's still just a 3-3, three, three, not a 4-3. I was thinking, like, Defiant Strike, you know, is going to pump the power, but God's Willing doesn't pump the power. So, yeah, I didn't even need to God's Willing there. That was unnecessary. We'll just go ahead and decree these two things. Looking good. Not looking as good <laughs> now. We just gotta do six damage though. They don't have another blocker. We should have it with just 10th, 10th District Legionnaire and Gird for battle. I hope that's another Cinder Vines. Hmm. Is their last card just Reckless Rage also? They haven't had Reckless Rage. recently could have just drawn it off season of growth that would be uh, really mean though all right well we don't have lethal anymore we need our three creatures I mean, they have to chump block with feather, though, right? So I guess I guess they have to chump block with feather. Well, I don't think we're better off letting Arcanus die because if it survived, we we won, like the game's over. Because it was lethal. They just had the one mana left, and the turn before they didn't have Reckless Rage because they would have they would have blew us out with Reckless Rage if they would have had it.
Oh, yeah. I need just God's willing the 10th District Legionnaire, and then they're dead. I was about to do that. I was about to get full control and make sure I did, did that. Hey, what's up, Don? Thanks for that support there. I appreciate that Twitch Prime sub there. Two zero. Tell you that first game. It's only the games they've taken it out of me. Ugh. This deck's wearing me down. So yeah, rotation feather better than current feather. <laughs> yeah, guess you don't need reckless rage. I'm kind of regretting leaving, leaving that Sultai Lands deck for last. I feel like that's going to be a real grind fest also. But it's also possible that deck's not very good and we just go 0-2. It's also possible. Is this a 5-card keep? We keep like Mountain, Defiant Strike, God's Willing, Legionnaire, Legionnaire. Like, is four cards going to be better than that? I don't think so. Four cards, it's really hard to win on four cards. I think this is a five card keep. Yeah, we had one land, zero land, one land here with these hands. It's going to be hard to win with that anyway. Yeah, I could see Boros Feather being good next expansion for sure. It's possible. Yeah, the main thing to add to that is Vrassus Contempt. Obviously the Drowned Catacomb in the sideboard. Or sorry, sorry, in the mana base. But Vrass's Contempt uh, in the main deck over Obnexus' Cruelty and instead of the Disfigure and instead of one of the three Enter the God Eternals. I guess it doesn't matter if we do upkeep or not, because we just draw a card with Defiant Strike. What a Naya Feather? I don't I don't think Naya Feather is better. I think Naya Feather is better against a blue black control deck. But not better overall. Especially when we're playing rotation proof. Monday here. Especially for Rotation Proof Monday where our mana base is going to be really bad for three colors. Stop. Okay, well so much for... I guess my whole like sit back and block plan wasn't even a good plan anyway. I, should, I need to just play the Legionnaire. But wasn't wasn't gonna work anyway. Yeah, the classic mold of five versus perfect hand. Yep. The classic. These devout decrees have been pretty sweet. We got that going for us. Hmm. 
not sure what I don't really want. I mean, our weakest cards are like Vindicator, Krenko, Shock. One time. Don't have a whole lot of threats now. We'll see how this works, though. This is better than five cards. We're going to be relying on our devout decrees. Because, <clears throat> good chance they have a good amount of removal over there in their hand. So they probably don't have like that many threats. And so devout decree could like, you know, check both, like, you know, like, you know, maybe maybe both of their threats. And then I could have, like, this other bait for removal before we get to, like, feather and look for protection. Pretty bad news for us that they didn't play anything else. Or like they didn't play another land, so they just got all cards in hand. That's pretty bad news. These phoenixes, they really never go away, do they? They never go away. to make him go away. All right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough. Next turn we'll play Feather and decree that thing and get the put the gods willing back in our hand. Okay. So now that they have the spellbreaker.
I think we do Gert for battle, God's willing. All right, well, this is pretty risky. I'm going to actually not do God's Willing. I think we're doing okay. You know the kill feather. <laughs> so they gotta be pretty worried about the whole dying thing. Yeah, the reason why I didn't pump feather <clears throat> is because if, if I leave these at two fours, it's a really easy block for them to have. It's a very convenient block. Well, that's a wonderful card to have. GG's. We'll just re replay the lava coil. Man, Arcanus was awesome. That card sure showed up. Clarion better on the draw, I guess. Do I want Clarion over Gideon or Cranko? I'm worried about Gideon just kind of dying. We're going to take out Gideon and play our other Krenko and play the Clarions. Whew. This deck really requires a whole lot of thinking. That's a very taxing deck to play. Ooh, it's not just, you know, curve out and Play your land war off, and then play your spellbreaker, and then play your rekindling phoenix, and just attack a bunch and see what happens. Or, you know, a deck like that. Even like the Demir control deck is pretty easy. You know, you just play your removal spells that make sense to play, and so on. Land where elves just let them have so so much more mana than us. 
Be tough to beat, but I don't think I can use a lava coil on it. Gotta have these things for feathers and stuff like that. No no or sorry, phoenixes. Have at it, boys. Oh, looks like you're all mouth and no hands. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That's a way to easily get rid of land war elves. Come on, play a growth chamber guardian. Growth chamber guardian. I think they just probably just are. I think they're just chilling with like removal over here. That's my guess. <laughs> yeah, Feather can like this. This match, you know, like we're playing against another, like we're playing against an aggro deck, so this one hasn't taken too long. How do I beat three removal spells? Like Arcanist, I try to God's willing it, they kill Arcanist, and then where am I at? I'm at kind of nowhere. If I go Legionnaire. So I'm still at Legionnaire Gird. Okay, I'm fine. I think, no, I think Legionnaire is less expendable. Because I think Legion, we can grow Legionnaire with these things to be way above red burn spells. I think Legionnaire is the better threat here. Uh, sure. Hey, good brother. And fair amount, how do y'all? Yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have played this other Arcanist. I don't know what I was thinking. I was gonna like Gird and then recast Gird. I, I, yeah, I messed that up somehow. But we're still good. Gird recast Gird is good. It worked out just fine.
Alright, GG's. Boros Feather, cruising. 3 0 with rotation proof feather. Wow. <laughs> Just drop feather, make Arcanist decks. Yeah, the Arcanist was really awesome that match. Yeah, that card is pretty bonkers. Yep. Putting it with Brainstorm and, yeah, like Legacy Vintage, stuff like that. I mean, we have a, we have the Temple of Scryumph to look for something else to do with these. But still, we're like two extra lands that we don't really need. Bleh. <laughs> we need to add these to the last hand. I don't think you need a splash green and feather. Yeah, we have we have some more scry here. So not only do we need a creature, but we also don't actually have protection for that creature. Just have pump. So even if we have one even if we find a creature, if they have a removal spell, we're dead. Red deck. <laughs> We're not being a red deck. Not with this garbage. Maybe they're not actually mono red. I mean, they're mono red, I'm just conceding. There's no way we could be mono red. Okay. They're mono red. I was like, maybe they're like a, you know, like a teamer deck or something. Well, Vindicator comes on out. So does Krenko. These cards are not good against Chain Whirler, that's for sure. All right, turn into Feather Control again. I like you more. I like you. I like you. Hmm. We'll play one, uh, one Gideon, one Chandra. Maybe we should have Disenchant for Frenzy. It only does affect four cards in their deck, but those are four very good cards. Maybe I should have that in there. Yeah, our hand was really bad. And we played against Mono Red. And I conceded. We had no chance of winning. Yeah, I am too, Shadow. I'm ready for, for the fairy tale set spoilers. That's going to be fun. Uh, 
Yeah, the two drop that's a two three with mentor. I could see that I could see that maybe being end up being better than the Swift Blade Vindicators. I have not been impressed with Swift Blade Vindicator at all. And so yeah, that you can mentor Cranko or uh, Arcanist. And you can pump also with that. Like yeah, I could see that being a better two drop than Vindicator. The Vindicator has been our worst card in our deck. Yeah, Eldraine is the fairy tale set. Not only do we have no protection for Feather, but they also have a Lava Coil sitting right there. It'd make no sense to play Feather into that Lava Coil. Yeah, this temple artwork is awesome. Now this is a temple here. I'm giving myself one more draw before playing this feather. Obviously looking for God's Willing. Next turn, I'll likely be playing the Feather. If we don't find it, you know, just casting Defiant Strike on my turn. So I, got, I got to get it in play for like this Clarion lifelink. That's a heck of a lot of burn over here from our opponent. Oh, that's awesome, three man. Yeah, glad to hear. There we go. Oh, I just didn't even play my Sacred Foundry, did I? I just did that quickly. I should have put that thing in tapped. <laughs> ben, I've been, I have been focusing. This deck's been really tough. It's been a very long, difficult league that we were 3-0 in here. Get that extra point of life link in. Should have this. 
Hooray. Play Disenchant over Solar Blaze. And more Gideon, less Chandra. Okay. Y'all want more Chandra? Le or, yeah. You, oh, no, yeah, you said the same thing. Less, Ge less Chandra, more Gideon. That's the same thing I did. All right, cool. Ugh. Hmm. All right, can we get the game on the draw? Our opponent had a really slow hand, and they were on the draw with a really, really slow hand. But now can we get a game on the draw And against potentially a lot faster hand? We'll see. Tune in next time to find out. Man, this thing can get ran over. Hey, Pavosuk. I am doing pretty good. This this feather deck's been wearing me out though. But we're keeping it together. At least they were on a mold of six, so that's kind of good for us. No attacks. It's very likely that it gets shocked, but that's just how life goes. Oh, yeah. Archangel, or no, Avacyn, Angel of Hope. I was thinking Arch Archangel Avacyn, but Avacyn, Angel of Hope, the... The nine mana Avacyn. That, that one was never played in Standard. Hmm. The problem is we don't we don't have a, a third white source where we necessarily may have like feather plus God's willing. I may use this God's willing here on the Tenth District Legionnaire. I'm gonna save this because they could have like a, a planeswalker that I want to decree. It's not super likely with just the two lands, though, I guess. Okay. Hmm.
Uh, we don't we don't know if there's going to be better angels in Throne of Eldraine or not. Just don't know. I'd like to draw another white source here. That'd be the best draw. Okay, Arcanist. It's not bad. But yeah, a lot of the good white cards are rotating out. Between History of Benalia, all the angels. They have not printed good white cards in a little bit. So we know they have two spells in hand. We'll be able to respond to like two things that they have here. Bleh. Yeah, we're going to, have to play both of our cards. Start with this, but then they're going to firebrand it. I'm going to need a God's Willing it. But we can put God's Willing back into our hand with the Arcanist attack. I do. So I, I basically just want any land right now. We have a whole bunch of scries. I want a land. These are not lands. That makes our life a little better, too. So basically need the land, because I need a devout decree this thing. And I want to play Feather. And I want to... I was going to be putting the gods... Because I wanted to play the Feather to put the gods willing back. But I guess I could just Defiant Strike again. Draw another card and keep pumping up this thing. Oh, yeah, give me that lifelink. So they have like. If they have Coil Wizards Lightning, I'm still not dead. I'd go down to one. <clears throat> All right, so this is seven, this is eight, nine, ten, and then redo that thing, eleven, twelve, or no, wait. So is it lethal if I don't play Gideon? 7 damage here, this is an 8th, this is 9, 10, and then recasting 11, 12. Okay, yes it is. Uh, 
Uh, sure, that makes it more lethal. Okay, we are 4-0 and oh with Boros Feather. We have been cruising. No Reckless Rage needed. No Reckless Rage needed. Alright, we even have an extra life. We are on the final boss. Let's get that final boss playlist out. Let's get these emotes. Here we go, final boss time. Yeah, our, our hand, yeah, our five card hand just wasn't even respectable in that game. Ugh. Here we go, final boss. And then we have the long Sultai Lands League. All right, the old Mold of Five game one and then quit, and then play games two and three. <laughs> uh, mountain Plains. The classic. Oh, thanks, Pinehurst. Sultai Lands is about Field of the Dead. It's a Field of the Dead deck. You know, with uh, you know, with only rotation proof cards, so no Elvish Rejuvenator, no Scape Shift. Is this vampires that just had a couple of removal spells in hand? That's what I'm feeling like this is. Yep. Well, should have played Arcanist first before Feather, I suppose. No, I haven't played uh, Sultai Lands yet. It's coming up later. No Dread Presence. Man, Vampire Control, what is this? Just four removal spells in the Vampire deck so far? Yeah, so we're playing the yeah, playing that up next. Jeez. Vampire control. I thought they were gonna Legion's end the the tenth district. Legionnaires there.
Don't know exactly how I'm going to win this. That Vanguard is kind of a rough draw step for me here. So I'm just to get a bunch bunch of chip damage in. You know, get like some chip damage in and then like You know, kill them with something crazy here, but that Vanguard stops Legionnaire pretty well. Yeah, God's willing doesn't do it. If I find Arcanist, Arcanist Sprint. No, it doesn't do it. Okay, game two. Mold a five, and then they just had four removal spells. Dang. All right, well, let's get... We're going to turn into control deck. Us now as well. Vindicator's not as bad in this matchup. Neither is Krenko, as, like, against, like, Mono Red. So, so let's go with the normals. Oh, you, you're welcome, Pinehurst. Glad you've been watching the YouTube channel every night and learning a lot and everything. I'm really, really glad to hear that. So, pretty Ricky, what'd you say? Like, three land, four removal, keep? It's not exactly what we have here, but it's close. Okay, awesome. Yeah, let me know how Ban Arpo goes at the LGS. I'm still trading one for one. You know, like the, their legions landing, why shock? It's not a it's not a great shock or anything, but they draw one less card now because of it. Guess I'm pretty dead here though. Double mountain is killing it's just killed me. Yeah, Soren's really strong. One drop Vanguard Soren. Put in champion. GG. I have to have feather plus protection, and I don't have protection. I bestow a mighty curse. Okay, they I don't have the removal though. This fight, but I will finish vampirism is a useful trait. I 
I am pretty dead though. Okay. Gotta have cast downs in hand. The weak feed the straw. Dead to basically everything. That stuff qualifies as everything. As anything, sorry. All right, four and one. Vampires got us. It's a really, really good deck. And they got us. But those Champion of Dusks and Danto Vanguards that beat us down really bad there, both those games, don't have to worry about those after rotation. Feel those champion of dusks were really rough both those games. Just draw so many cards. We're going to not mulligan to five this time and hope it works out. Mulligan to five is not something I like to do too often, but we've been doing it today. They didn't want to pay for life. All right, can we get vampires this time? Looks like they got another strong hand over here. I'm going Legionnaire because it uh, blocks that one-two, or the you know could actually threaten to kill that one-two. Why is it always that? House Markov grows stronger. Where's our lands? 
Where's our lands? Not good. Not good at all. I block anything else, I die. Oh, come on. We still could have had this. We honestly could have maybe had this if we drew another another land. Drew like a red source. If I could go Cranko plus Sprint it, I could make like a whole bunch of blockers and kill Soren. We actually kind of had a chance here. All right, actually, I kind of think I want these Krenkos. That give me a shot of having like a whole bunch of blockers. I don't know, I'm bringing all this other stuff in though. It's like Gideon too slow? Like Gideon or Krenko? Like before I, I cut two Krenko, two Sprint. Could trim a Gerd. I guess Gerd doesn't matter as much in this matchup. We go one one Gerd, one Sprint, and then one Krenko, one Gideon. <clears throat> yeah, our. our Definitely does seem like vampires is a lot harder without reckless rage. Yeah, we don't we don't have reckless rage loop. We haven't really had ideal hands though, also, and these vampire opponents just keep on playing a whole bunch of these champion of dusks. You don't go on like and Sorens and We haven't really had ideal hands. Also had tons of removal. What's up with them having so much removal? Anyway. We had, we had a game where double, you know, like, just having all these basic mountains killed me.
they just have one card, but we have nothing. Seven lands. I think if we just had four lands also, if we had another three cards. Or if we just had one of these lands last game. <laughs> Why didn't they activate Knight there? What are they... And just holding up Mortify, I guess. Just not even activating. There's their champion. Gross. All right, well, that vampire deck's still really good. Sometimes you don't get enough lands. Sometimes you get way too many lands. <clears throat> but yeah. So rotation proof feather, though, I would just say certainly was a good success. We need Reckless Rage that last matchup, but the rest of them we were doing just fine without him. And... You know, playing more basics instead of having uh, clifftop retreats certainly hurt us um, at different points. But worst card in our deck was the Swiftblade Vindicator. That card wasn't very good. Uh, we talked about maybe, especially how like that's that's a rare, maybe replacing that with um, Boros Challenger. That's the name of that card. I could see Boros Challenger doing more for us. Um, you know, mentoring onto Arcanus or Krenko and just being bigger. I could see that being better. The Vindicator wasn't very good. Um, besides that, everything else played pretty well. Yeah, so for rotation, you know, like our rotation proof decks usually don't get the most wins, but, you know, our last two decks going 5 1 and 4 2. With how we're only playing with half of the available card pool, pretty good, pretty good. But, you know, Vampires is just the best deck in the format, and they're using, you know, all the cards, including those Champion of Dusks, that are going to be rotating, and it's it's hard to beat that with this. So there we go. That's Boros Feather. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, though, hope you enjoyed this deck in the video. And if so, don't forget to hit that like, and subscribe buttons over there. Tajik does not rotate, no. So Tajik would be... It, you could play Tajik instead of Krenko. But I think Krenko has the higher upside than Tajik. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. There we go. Thanks for watching Boros Feather. And I will see you for the next video.